Hi guys, I'm Jason. And I'm Lonnie. And you're watching another video right here on Phoenix Poptastic. And today we're doing something informative. Ooh. Ooh. We don't have a mystery box. We don't have a pop hunt. But we're going to explain to you what all the different Funko Pop stickers on all the boxes mm -hmm. So let the collecting begin. <laughs> all right, so I've pulled out like, I don't know. 50, 20 a whole pops. bunch, a whole bunch of pops bunch here. Of pops. We have all kinds of stickers to look at. Yeah, tons of variations of stickers, tons of why one pop has the same sticker as another, why this place has this, what does flocked mean, what does glow in the dark mean, what does I'm exclusive sure to here mean. I'm sure some we're missing, but you know. Could be. I'm sure in the comments below someone will say, you didn't cover this, and that's okay. We're going to cover as much as we can. Yep. So. Starting off, I the, want to start off with well, the, the most basic, most basic, basic, the most basic, basic, basic is a common, common pop. You no, see no sticker, no sticker whatsoever. So this pop right here in a case would come with six other pops. Well, five other pops. So it'd be six total in a box. One of those could possibly be a chase Funko pop, which is just a variant of of common. this one. You can see the boxes are the same there and on the back. Let me flip it over here. The back, the boxes are the same. And not all commons have chases, no. but some do. some do. So it's kind of like you kind of end up knowing they'll mm. announce what's coming out and usually they'll show the common and then they'll show the chase next to it, showing that it'll come with a chase variant. So that's... And go for it, go for it. These commons you can buy any retailer that sells Funko Pops. That's I mean, correct. as long as they have them in stock, but they are not specific or exclusive to any particular retailer. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Now, just to go off of that, there are exclusive retailers. For instance, we got a bunch. Which oh, one are we for? So many. I'm trying to find a hot topic so that I can explain this. I don't know if I grabbed just a regular old hot topic, but all kinds. Guys. There are hot topic exclusives. There's all kinds of exclusives. box launch. And if there's an exclusive with a chase, they'll just put it right next to the exclusive sticker there. And this one is a cool chase because it's a glow in the dark Ooh, chase. So it has a different sticker. There's also flock chases. Mm -hmm. There are. Which have their own special sticker, but I don't think oh we have a. Lord, is there any other chase. chases? Glow in the dark, flocked, regular chase. There might. They, could, they can come up with stuff like the diamond chase. So there is. Here is a hot topic pre release pre-release sticker so this would have been released at hot topic before they released the the rest of them <laughs> why why is there a hot topic pre-release honey is well, it is it a pre-release to the hot topic exclusive I or is it a pre-release so. to a common no be, well, i don't know you know ask hot topic ask hot topic. or ask funko this is true but if there's a red Hot Topic sticker, it usually means it's a pre-release. And then if it's just the yellow one, it's, it's their a normal store exclusive. Normal store exclusive. And by saying store exclusive, we mean you can only buy that pop at a Hot Topic. Correct. Unless you buy it from a third-party retailer, and that's a completely different situation. That is true. And, and so along, I was just thinking because Hot yeah, Topic was yeah, yeah. Next, uh, with Hot Topic, Box Launch, same company. They mm -hmm. also have their own exclusives. Yes, they do. So and... you see any store that has their own specific exclusive, has their own little stickers. Yep, Toys, Toys R Us, Us. GameStop. Oh look, I got a Michaels here. Michaels, you got Walmart, which is pretty notorious. Um, oh, Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble, Target, Target has their own. <gasps> now, there are, oh, go ahead, show them that one. That one's Dr. Cool. Pepper had its own exclusive too. It did, it did. Y'all remember that? That was fun, huh? And then like, you know, they have a, uh, like Barnes and Noble. Where is he? He's somewhere in here. Here we go, here Barnes and PX. Noble. They oh. also have like diamond exclusives. Which just means they're glittery and shiny. Right, and that can be the same at a Hot Topic, see? Um, and then speaking of Target, they have a new sticker. It's called a Target Con sticker. And right next to this sticker is the Flocked. So there's a Target Con sticker with the Flocked sticker next to it. So that means that the pop is fuzzy. So it's got hair or fuzzy fuzz fuzzies. all over it's it fuzzy. it's instead hair, of it's glitter. Um, then you also have, these are good ones, your Funko Shop exclusives. Right. Which means you can only get them from Funko, Funko. Shop. That's right. And they have two. Three. I don't oh, have three. the third one, but yes, two. Anyway, we got two examples. So this one came straight from online, purchased yeah. it. 
Funko so we've Shop. got your com. Funko Shop sticker right there. This bad boy was picked up at the Hollywood store. Right. So it's got the Hollywood sticker on it. And then if you buy a Funko Pop from the Everett store in Washington, they have yeah, their own store. little HQ Funko Pop sticker as oh, well. Oh, here's your specialty series. Yes, That's indeed. Funko, which means what? So this means that this pop is mainly sold to comic book stores, smaller local shops. Mom and pop type places. Correct. And it's got, so it'll have the specialty sticker on it. And then there was this one, which is a PX preview sticker. Now I've, been, we've been collecting like almost two years. I don't really know who PX Previews is, but they yeah, remind me of a special shop. Then it's yeah, not here. It reminds me of a specialty sticker because they tend to be sold in like smaller places, um, but you can also find them online. It's just oh, very, but very, very on the PX. Speaking sticker. of specialty stickers, yes, this is one we had done one of these videos several months back. And one of the questions we kept getting because we failed to touch on. Oh, yes, she I is didn't see right one. Here. Is that it? Yes. So is this whole new? If you get a GameStop sticker or a Hot Topic, Hot Topic or sticker. Walmart or any of these American, I guess you'd call them companies, mm -hmm. and you want to, you purchase that pop overseas, international, it'll come with a different sticker. It'll come with a special edition sticker. Special edition sticker. So yes, basically all that means is it's an exclusive in a sense. Yes. But it was sold overseas. Yep, and it could be exclusive to Target, Hot Topic. Yeah. They all, if it's overseas, they'll have a special edition sticker on it. Um, and then Funko Shop actually has a Australian store, Pop Culture, which they have a sticker and they usually sell the Funko Shop exclusives international. But now Funko has a Europe store too. So that's good. Yep. These are the next. Yes. This is a good one too, so guys. Conventions. Comic Cons. Comic Cons. They'll have certain pops that are sold for those Comic Cons. If you go to the Comic, <clears throat> if you go to the Comic Con and you stand in line, you're you know you're there, da 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 da, da and you pick up the pop there, it will have a convention sticker. Now I have bad examples, so to speak, because of COVID. We have not had Comic Cons. So they've been selling the Comic Con stuff virtually, and you had a kind of like a 50 50 chance of getting Comic Con stickers. This was for the ECCC 2021, mm -hmm. and we won the lottery, so we got, we were able to order, but we got this convention sticker, but then this was from the same convention, and you'll notice it has a different sticker, and that's because this one was shared with Amazon. They'll share, Grimlock is shared with GameStop. So if you buy this at GameStop, it'll probably come with this sticker instead of the convention sticker. And then over time, these convention stickers tend to be worth more. Yeah, because, usually 20 to 40, depending yeah, on the pop. Because of the trouble of having to go to the convention and all mm -hmm. that stuff to actually get There's another get them. shared sticker we have. Now this is an older one that um, I wanted to show you that they tend to look the same and it's a different convention. This is ECCC, Emerald City Comic Con, and this I believe was San Diego Comic Con. So they look kind of the same, but a little bit different. Um, and the con sticker would look different than this too, but it would be purple. Right. And the older one- And it would ones, actually say Comic Con on it. Right, it'll say the Comic Con on it, the year and all that stuff. Um, doo -doo -doo, I'm having a brain fart, trying to think. Oh, the New York City Comic Con stickers always look almost similar. The, the shared one even looks like this, sort of. It might be a different color. I think last year one had a Statue, Statue of Liberty on it, one didn't. So, kind of varies. You have to know which one's shared and which one's convention. Oh, and if there's special conventions? Yes. Like my Supernatural? Oh, yes. I don't have those in here. Ooh, time out. One. Time. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified every time we put up a video. Yes. What? Huh? And I said yes uh -huh. every time. Yeah. And okay. also uh -huh. check the description down below. We have a couple of links in there to various retailers where you can get a discount on your purchases. Yep. And thank you to all of our Patreons. We sure do appreciate all of you guys. And if you're interested in joining Patreon, we have two tiers where you can help support the channel. Mm -hmm. And while she's grabbing that, there's also like Big Apple exclusive, which is an online retailer. Um, Entertainment Earth has their own exclusive, and they're an online retailer. 
So online retailers and store retailers could have their own exclusives. And she's back. I'm back. She's back. Game on, although I see you were just yapping away without me. Yeah, so these are uh, 2015. Show exclusive. This is a 14. Oh, that's a 14. Mm -hmm. This is a 15. Show exclusive. My favorite is show entire world. Yes. Has its own Comic Con I'm a situation convention. Stack. You know, tomato, tomato. So this is an autographed Mark Shepard Crowley Funko Pop from Supernatural from the 2015 show exclusive. Yeah. Now, was this a Supernatural Comic Con? Yeah, I'm thinking so, because that's so, the only time I know of that they do. So that's a different sticker that you yep. usually won't see on a lot and of And this pops. is a 2014 same kind of show sticker. yeah exact same sticker show exclusive mm -hmm. Con convention exclusive limited edition yeah. variant so when in doubt and you see a sticker you don't recognize google um just look up to see what the sticker's from um and always there's a thing that people like to do called sticker swapping so they'll buy two of these and then they'll buy fake convention stickers and they will peel this one off and put the fake convention one on here and then say, hey, it's a convention pop. So that's the thing you gotta look out for. The best way to kind of tell is you look through this window here on the back and you can kind of see the, uh, the residue of the old sticker being peeled off, things like that. You just kind of really kind of be buyer well, beware. No matter what, do not purchase a highly priced pop without doing some research. Yes. Because you don't want to get yourself scammed. Absolutely. I mean, if it's 20, 30 bucks and you want it and it doesn't matter to you, I mean, that's whatever. But if you're looking at 100, 150 bucks, 200 bucks, yeah. I would do some research on it. For you can sure. just, just kick the camera really hard. You can stick to our philosophy of buying retail. Um, we buy from Funko and hopefully we get the exclusive, this and that. And if there's something that we really wanted, like, we didn't go here and get this, but we bought it from a trusted person. Someone we knew, someone who we're friends with, someone who could ask questions at the store to find out what it is. Um, we also will buy from 7 because mm -hmm. they're trusted. There's a bunch of places like Spastic. There's quite a few places um, that you can buy from. eBay? Uh-uh. What's not, that one? What's it. the one? What do you call it? What do you call it? What? What not? What not? They, they, you can actually... I don't know if you pay extra or what, but there's a little option there for you to have that pop sent in and verified that it's real before it's sent to you, which is also another yeah, Absolutely, great thing. especially if you're looking at something that's pretty pricey. Yeah. Now, if you're trying to get, you know, let's say the common uh, Monica Geller here, you know, that's only worth like, you know, eight, nine, ten bucks, or, you know, you're trying to get a $20 pop, use Macari or eBay sure. or any of those, sure. But if you're trying to get a $100 pop, Make sure you buy it from someone reputable, reputable, and make sure that the sticker's real, that you've got the, that's the real pop, all in all, the whole package type thing before you go crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so any other stickers we missed? We did all the uh, retailers. No, I'm sure there's plenty, you know, quite a few out there that we missed, but you know. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, it is what it is, but hopefully this helps I'm newer sure. collectors know what they're looking at and what it all means. Uh, there's a... Amazon, which I don't know if we showed. I mean, there's just so many out mm -hmm. there, but there's just a ton. There's just the Michaels. I mean, I showed Michaels. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. I mean, there's, there's a ton. So, but the main things you want to look for is exclusive to a store. Um, chase means that it's a variant of the common. Of the common version. And an exclusive can have a chase. Um, there's flocked ones that can be exclusive or not exclusive. It could be a common that's flocked. That's, that happens too. Same with diamond anything like that so i hope we explained it all without being mm -hmm. too confusing and if any of you seasoned collectors know of something that we missed please leave it down below in the comments yes indeed um any newer collectors have any further questions ask indeed and we will all help you if we can yeah and uh check out this older video we did up here mm -hmm. this one's probably a little bit better but there might be some information in there that we missed that on we this one that you can see on that one and that's all we got for you. So, all right. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's about all we got. I hope it was. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Hopefully, it wasn't too boring. Please Hopefully, take a nap. you enjoyed it and mm -hmm. stuff. We'll see you next time <laughs> on, on Phoenix, Phoenix Popcastic. Pop